Yeah. Is this more to your liking? That's very much to my liking. Ah, yeah, yeah. So good. Do some more. Glad my voice is to your liking. Ooh, do it again. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's that's just that's exactly what I like. Last time we chose our favorite games of two, what? Well, big gaps between those words there. Last time we chose our favorite <laughs> games of two thousand and two, which were Oddworld, Munch's Odyssey, Pal. Metabots, oh, yeah. open bracket, meta B version, close bracket, open bracket, GBA, close bracket, open bracket, pal, close bracket, and <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Knight II colon Jedi Outcast. Yep. Ooh. So, in joint last place, <laughs> with 17%, yeah. Munch's Odyssey and Metabots, etc. <gasps> which means no. that the winner... Right. With so we've only had six y- votes for this year. That is a low together. one. That is a low that is one. Very low amount. It's because of votes. I said bit of a crap one this year, if I'm honest. So people are obviously like, "Yeah, it is." <laughs> I'm not wasting my click on that. <laughs> my okay. God. So the winner with sixty-seven percent. Leave a thing down below. Sorry. Please comment. Never mind. Regular special. Was there a one. comment? Yeah. Regular special one said, "Star Wars Jedi Knight Two Jedi Outcast is the most interesting title on the list." Emma. Oh. So there you are. See, now the victory just feels, like, not as deserved. <laughs> so you've got 67% of six votes. That, to me, sounds like it's four of the six votes. Yeah. So, well done. That's more than the one list. That means we have at least one person caring about 67. this. Yes. Let I'm just, just surprised that there's one person out there other than me that knows Metabots Metabeaver. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So me and Ozzy have both won five years. Rich, you've won Ooh. seven years. Oh, we've, got a, we, we've got a gang up to take him down now. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We need, we need oh, to choose yeah. games that we know would get more votes just because of the popularity of the time. Yeah. Well, well, that's not a game of the system, <laughs> pun intended. I mean, <laughs> hey. number one, Harry Potter games. Number two, uh, whatever <laughs> other games came out in that year. <laughs> so this. <laughs> Apart from the ones on my list that I don't want to spoil. Oh. Mm. This year, it is 2001. Yes. It's a, a space odyssey. Exactly. We ah. remember it well. 17 years ago now that happened. <laughs> it's a good year. I've got mm. some bangers on my list this year. Uh, I've narrowed it down to five. Oh, I've got, I've got six, actually. Mm. I've got five and three runners up. Wow. I have zero runners up. Well, technically one, but... Mm. Is, any, is anyone really itching to go first? I'll go first. Yeah. Makes well, no change. You sound you sound like you're really itching for it, so please go ahead. I am. I am. Right. Oh, okay, that's better. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm getting some. I'm trying to get some enthusiasm. You know. Ooh. Why the fuck not? So yay, honorable mention yay. is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Mm. Oh, okay. Honorable mention because it's the GBA version, not the DS. So. Because it was originally released on DS, so uh, on GBA. Sorry. So yeah, that's mine. DS wasn't out at this point, was it? No. 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 Not by a no. long way. However, no, one no. thing that was out was the Dreamcast. Mm. Mm. And my number five is Sonic Adventure 2. Oh. Mm. Long, long time ago that was. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably the best of the bad Sonic games, if that makes any sense. It's still bloody terrible. It's right. utterly atrocious, but it's nostalgia value. Yeah, yeah. We're entering the nostalgia zone. That is the, yeah. That's pretty much what last year's votes were. Yeah. Um, so number four, I guarantee you, you have never heard of this game, oh. Hostile Waters and Teus Rising. Your no. guarantee holds strong, sir. Good. It's <laughs> basically a, a, a flight, a hybrid vehicle and strategy game. Apparently, oh. um, you basically a commander on a ship, uh, narrated by Tom Baker. I might add. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. And that's you... my Tom Baker impression. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> well, he was a captain in Fort Bayard, so yeah. Oh, and the in of the ship. Blackadder. Oh yes. Ooh. Oh yeah. His the role that he most hated. <laughs> <Ooh>. <gasps> yeah. You have a woman's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, you take on the role of um, dead soldiers who've been their minds have been uploaded to a thing Ooh. to a mainframe and then they pilot ships and you can sort of like control it like an rts but also fly it like a flight sim all right that and sounds it's... like a really good premise <laughs> it actually is you hear the surprise like, in my voice <laughs> it's actually really good like uh rock paper shotgun described it as the best game you've never played okay 
Well, when I'm editing it's... this, I'll hear you say it and I'll look it up. <laughs> mm, I genuinely, it's like 99p on Steam. Oh, wow. Or like 150 when it's not on sale. So Better buy it quick, folks, before yeah, before this popularity quite... grows thanks to this podcast and the price rises. And I, I would put <laughs> it, it higher on my list. £1.50. <gasps> Who could imagine paying £1.50 for a game? Oh, good heavens. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it would be higher on my list. However, the, fi- the, the three I have are incredible. Uh, number three is Halo Combat Evolved. Mm. The original Halo. Original Halo. The first yeah. one. Yeah, I've never played that one. Despite really? Halo 2 making my list not three years <laughs> hence. I never got into Halo games. It's I'm, just, I'm not really into shooter excellent. games. It's just, yeah, mm, it's more personal enough. preference than anything. See, I was, I was never into shooter games either. The thing that made me want Halo 2 was just the look of it and the designs. Uh, Halo 1 is a bit of a, um, a comeback from that, to be honest. Obviously, because it's not as... There's no dual wielding. There's no mm. sort of... Uh, stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I fucking mean. Yeah, there's no, there's no stuff. Yeah. yeah, Halo One is excellent, but Halo Two is technically better, even though Halo One has a more. I prefer the atmosphere of Halo One to Halo Two. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Anyway, yep. Yeah. Uh, so my number two, Star Wars Rogue Squadron Two Rogue Leader. <laughs> Why? What is it with these names? I mean, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. The Star Wars series has colon cancer, all right? <laughs> Colonic. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the sequel to Rogue Squadron on the uh, N64, and it's... Okay. You fly an X-Wing, you can fly the Falcon, you is can that, fly the friggin' Slave 1. Is that our Chrissy boy who's doing Star Citizen? Eh? No, that's some... What, what one did he do? It wasn't Star Wars, was it? It was something else. I'm getting what? confused because Mark Hamill's in Star Citizen and he was in the other one that our Chrissy boy oh, did. Oh, Wing Commander. Wing Commander, that's it, yeah. Yeah. I'm just getting confused because Luke Hamill was in it. I just thought Star Wars. Luke Hamill? M- Mark Hamill. Oh, fuck. Luke Hamill and Mark Skywalker. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Take away my official Star Wars fan badge. <laughs> if it, In my defence, I am playing Pokemon at the same time as talking, so... Are you fucking serious? I'm, uh, I'm running around in the Lush Jungle Cave looking for a Larvesta. <sighs> which is a one percent encounter rate i'm not wasting any oh, time cool. hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah my number one is pokemon stadium 2 yes mm-hmm. estadio pokemon says dos yeah well hang on a second oh yeah no yeah okay yeah no sorry <laughs> i thought i'd got the ro- got the wrong year for it spoilers <laughs> yeah i was gonna i was gonna say no, that no. <laughs> things might be awkward in a bit yeah, <laughs> yeah so pokemon stadium 2 fucking awesome it's a great game it, and that is my it took life. it took the joy of seeing your Pokemon in 3D in the original Pokemon Stadium and improved upon it, including all the Johto Pokemon with additional yes, game and, modes. And the one we and, the one we could ro- run a race with the Togepi and all that the mini yeah. games. Oh, we've got to do oh, the, the mini, mini games. games were so much better. We should do that. <laughs> yes, I have Stadium too. It's my turn just to, to suggest something that we'll never do now. <laughs> it's <laughs> been you two the past two weeks. Now it's my turn. Let's do I that. Mean, I am we'll free. On, I am past free this two week. Weeks, so. We've always done that <laughs> yeah wow that's a good that's a very good choice yeah, yeah. thank you a good well. year and a good choice i'm kind of i i feel like the um eu us date divide may have knocked a few things off your list that i think probably should have been on there <laughs> if i'm Such honest as? uh well you'll see i think what are we going on to yours or to mine um uh, i'll fight you for it I don't care either way. <laughs> okay. All right, One, okay. two, three, go. Scissors. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, there it. Re- I'm no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in the 2000s. Oh, yeah. so I remember Rock. it coming Sorry, out. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. Rocks are a bit slow. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you, oh, all right. Yeah. If you got rock, you go first then. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I feel we're about to have another um, Hoenn moment because Pokemon Stadium Two's on my runners up. <laughs> what? Because, honestly, like Battle Revolution, I like the game, but I'm not, like... Nostalgic for it. Yeah, I prefer Pokemon games with story. So I'd say I prefer Coliseum over Stadium 2. Oh, yeah. Because you've got all the free defects of Steve. I have not played XD, though. You need to play XD. I would like to play XD. (laughs) (laughs) I do not have XD to play, and it's probably bloody expensive to get nowadays. Yes, however, we can sort that out. 
Okay. See, I, okay. it's fair enough what you're saying, Ozzy, because the reason why Estadio Pocadensis Dos may or may not be on my list is because um, in sixth form, we got it up on an N64 emulator on the computer in the classroom okay. and just always yeah. played it in our free periods. <laughs> See, I've, I've not played it as much as you two. I've dabbled in it, but mm. it, was, it, was, it was just a Pokemon fighting game to me. Dibble, whereas dabble, dibble, dabble. I would... We accept her. We accept her. We accept her boy. I love it. Close cut. enough. <laughs> <laughs> See, I made the reference this time. <laughs> One of us. <laughs> One of us. <laughs> Circular reference. Uh, Consider revising. <laughs> As Excel might anyway, say. Anyway, yeah. Um, my next runner-up, and it will be my... The final time we get this is my normal Battle Network shout-out. <laughs> with the first Battle Network. I don't think they ever had anything before the first Battle Network, so... Last time we're going to get that, and GTA 3. Nice. Ooh. So, number five, I have Final Fantasy X for PlayStation 1. How are X. you spelling X? X. I-X. Okay, we had this trouble so before. So, 11? No, no, no X. Yeah. Nine. X. <laughs> Who does not know what a hrung is, nor why it should choose to collapse on Beetlejuice 7. <laughs> Sorry, cannot right, satisfactorily <laughs> explain. Got it wrong. <laughs> Number four, we have Jackie Chan Adventures, Legend oh. of the Dark Hand for oh, Game cool. Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> and like, it's literally just one of those nostalgia games. I was, I was never big on side-scrolling beat-em-up games, but this is one side-scrolling beat-em-up game I did play. <laughs> <laughs> and for those reasons, that's fair enough. <laughs> Number three, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Ooh. For Game Boy Color. I'm oh. for Game Boy Color, mind you, though. I, I like the PlayStation version. However, the Game Boy Color resonates with me more because it's a um, turn-based RPG. Oh. <laughs> Based around the first Harry Potter book rather than the film. Ah, yeah. So you yeah. actually had all those extra... B well, I was a big Harry Potter nerd back sort of in the transition between primary and secondary school. Yes, you were, I remember. I, I was most deaf. And you were you were Ford Prefect. <laughs> I was what? him indeed, but I I just found it really annoying that the bits got missed out of the films that were in the books. Yep, like the potion challenge at the end, which proves that Hermione yes. is actually good. And the potions. troll in the dungeons. Oh, I read this um this really good thing that explained how they messed up Ron and Hermione's characters in the films because it's oh. been so been so long oh. since I've read the books I couldn't remember this but like they took all of Ron's good lines and gave them to Hermione yeah they did yeah oh. really annoyed okay. me okay <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> sorry it's just as an aside yeah no no fair yeah um that was uh, number three number two is RuneScape oh good the god <laughs> massive multiplayer <laughs> online RPG that everybody in secondary school yeah. was obsessed with. Except for me, I was Except a Neopet. For, okay. I okay. never, I never... I, oh no, I played both. I played both. <laughs> you know what my feelings on Mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
normally you, Zelda would be a big marquee title and they basically just released the same game on Wii U and everyone was like well yeah. where the fuck should I buy this then and the only other Zelda on it was um well you had Hyrule Warriors which is actually pretty fun uh, but that's coming to Switch as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Hmm. Which, which I could play yeah. on Wii or GameCube anyway. Yeah, well, except exactly. for the HD aspect, but... And it would do add quite a f- nice few things to it, but, you know. Oh, okay. It would on the whole... be hugely surprising if they also yeah. came to Switch at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's hopefully they might release Skyward Sword for Switch, 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 and yeah. then I don't have to worry about any of that. But although of the it is the next Zelda, one due okay. for an HD remake. Okay, uh, okay. So yeah, maybe possibly. Mm. Anyway, speaking of the Legend of Zelda, number one, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. What? I've never seen. I don't. You, 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 um, the Game Boy Color games, and they were linked up in a way. If you completed yeah. one, linked. it would give you a code. To play with the other one and give you bonuses in the other yes, one. Yes, I did like that. Stuff. That was cool. Yeah, no, um, I played a lot more of Seasons when I was younger. But I think I preferred the gimmick of time. Just the whole seeing a yeah. place in the past and in the present. Yeah, I mean, if memory like serves whole. the... um, There was... I, I can't fucking remember. I do vaguely remember playing them, but I never really had them when I was a kid. So I don't... I might have to pick them up. Because I know that they're on 3DS, I think. You, yeah, no, they're on Virtual. They're on Virtual. Hmm. Yeah, Alrighty then. I, I have them both on Virtual Console. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, and I've, I have got Seasons as a physical Game Boy Color cartridge. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that, they're my number ones. Wow. Cool. Study Poker Dance's DOS, that Zelda one that you just said, who I've never heard of, so I can't remember the name. Uh, which, one would you put, which one would you put ages, on the yeah. list, Ozzy? Ooh. Ages or Seasons? I've played more of Seasons. There you go, so Seasons. We put Seasons, yeah. Season Salad. I can put them both on, like we normally put, like, Yeah, uh, they're technically Fire Red, connected. Green. They are technically yeah. connected. It is basic. They did what Pokemon did, in a way, but each game, rather than being the same game with a different colour, was two completely different games. One game for the price of two. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what an offer. Hmm. Right. Oh, ah. do you mind then? Let's just close this 3DS. <sighs> I would say he's so distracted, but I'm literally building Lego at this point. <laughs> you can listen and grind for a Larvesta at the same that's time. Partly, that's partly why I wanted to go first, so I could just do this afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you can, can you tell that we've sort of waned a little bit in the, uh, the Thou shalt not of attend this. an open mic play open I mic think... night and leave as soon as you've done your shitty little poem or song you self-righteous prick as Scroobus Pip might say and the same applies here <laughs> I mean did I start this off because I think I was the first one to get distracted mm. by playing like Pokemon Gold or something in the middle of an episode yeah and since then we've all just thought fuck it we can do our own thing whilst recording this speak for yourself <laughs> speak for your bloody well self <laughs> <laughs> anyway 2001. Anyway. Number, 2001. Number six. One. 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 Now, is a magical number in the number. Before I start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is exactly how that song goes. That's how the that's singer suddenly singing. became Brian Butterfield halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, Bear with me a second, mm-hmm. because uh. I just want to check that I've actually got my list right. So that I can... <gasps> Nandere? I... Nandere? Nandere? Oh, yeah, Nandere. yeah, my list is 100% right. Well, okay. Nandere. Right. <laughs> As Num- in, times are right, not the best games. Yeah, the timings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The time, or, do you, or were you looking up whether it was released in the right place at the right yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Whether it was PAL or not. Because I got the right time at the right place. I feel like there might be a few gasps <laughs> when I get to the oh, end of this. this gonna be good. <laughs> Unless oh, you just think the game PK. was shit and I've completely misjudged it. But anyway, number well, six. Yeah. What, PKC? Number six. <laughs> Stronghold. Which I played a lot of. There you are. Stronghold. Sure, I don't remember it. I don't know it though. Yep, uh, cue the tumbleweed. Okay. It's nice to have someone else have the tumbleweed I'm for I'm surprised a you've never heard of Stronghold. It's a v- very popular game. <laughs> oh well. Uh, number five. Estadio Pocadentes Doth. Ah, Pokemon Stadium 2. That's what I said. Yes. So, yeah, we've spoken of this. Number four, Black and White. 
Ah, now that I do know. Off of Peter Molyneux. So yeah, that's a good. Game. Oh, um, the uh, the the lying prick who never does anything. <laughs> yes, this was in this was before those days. I'm, I'm considering it's 2001. I'm guessing that's not Pokemon. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay. no. It's the it's the the game where you're a god and you ba- you have to be be godly. Oh shit! And you have Actually, a creature. No, I think I've heard of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, if if you're if you're bad, then your temple goes all pointy and your creature becomes evil. But if you're good, then your temple goes all smooth and white. <laughs> <laughs> because white is better, obviously, as we all know. Yeah. <clears throat> Number three, <laughs> Civilization three. Hey, nice. Which was the first Civ game I played, and I played a, a lot of it. I, I I actually did have days off sick, quotation mark, school, where I would then just play Civ 3 all day when my mum left. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the game that started the, the game addiction. Number two. Yes. Pokemon Gold and Silver. Yeah, see, I count them as being in 2000. Yeah, but that's was not that? that's that's not the rule I, cause, that like, we did. I was looking at the list, and they just didn't appear on the list at all. Well, I just went through. Yeah, Crystal appeared on the list, and I yeah. didn't put Crystal down because I've not actually played Crystal. I just went through the games that I own and I, that I like, I've, and then looked up when they came out. <laughs> well, I don't necessarily own all the games I've played. Hmm. Well, you know okay. what I mean. But you know, I they're my favorite games, so I looked at my shelf of games and went, "Oh, that's a really good one. When did that come out?" Uh, okay, I might need to addend my list then. <laughs> yeah, no. Gold and silver would come before Zelda. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone first. I mean, I mean, can I can I say that mine counts as 2000 because my name's Aussie and that's short for Australia? <laughs> <laughs> That I almost is, would have given that just because it's so bloody creative. That is the most c- ridiculously creative solution I've heard in a long time, but it's still not good enough. No. The rules are the rules. <laughs> I mean, all it does well, to then, mine is just pushes... Ro- uh, it go- got yeah, Silver but, goes in at number two. Okay, okay. And then everything else is the same. Stadium 2 is still my top. Okay. Now, go- like, Gold and Silver will become my top if we have to add it in for this year. <gasps> so... Throw that before Zelda. Nandere! <laughs> oh, I, didn't oh, think, <laughs> I didn't think that was that surprising considering the amount I've banged on about how this is my favourite set of Pokemon games and generation. Mm. Yeah. Well, 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 well. It was like, Red, Blue, Yellow made me a fan of Pokemon, but this... Well, no, Red, Blue, Yellow got me into Pokemon. This made me a fan of Pokemon. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Yeah. From Gold, Definitely. Silver, Crystal, I started to become obsessed with it, sort of thing. So, yep, yeah, before Zelda has to come Pokemon. There we go. A challenger yeah. appears. Yeah, no. Dun, 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 amendment dun, 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 to my list. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. Which okay, means number my number one is Pokemon Crystal. Yeah, which is <laughs> just which is just kind of better than gold and silver <laughs> because they, they they i they, mean yeah to be brutally honest it is isn't it they merge the so, two storylines basically did yeah. we like get crystal within like a couple of months of gold and silver coming out yes I think so. yeah 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 um so if i look up pokemon Gorodo and Suvu. Uh, yeah november november 2nd yeah and then yeah gold and silver was april <laughs> wow and we thought the turnaround between Black and Black 2 was quick. But Gold and Silver came out in Japan in... 1999. November uh, 21st, 1999. Hang on. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, sorry. Uh, Crystal. Oh. Oh, Crystal. Crystal came out in December 2000. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, hmm. Wikipedia put them both on the same page and doesn't tell you the release dates for Crystal, so I was getting yeah. confused then. Oh, well. I should have got on Oh, you know, I'm on Bulbapi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, well. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Crystal so then, really was better, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, you had the um, the text box come down at the top when you enter a new route, the animations, um, being able to catch the legendary water dog, the battle tower. Yeah, the whole storyline shenanigans with y- yeah. you've seen. And all now, that. you see, Suicune was never my favourite of the dogs. So I think Same. I, I was I was just sort of there with like, well, I've got gold and silver. Why do I need a third one just so I can get a Pokemon I'm not really hyped about anyway? For the Pokedex, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't I wasn't big on the Pokedex back in the day, though. Uh, I remember, yeah. 
I was a collect what be... ones I like. <laughs> <laughs> As in, I remember him not being too fussed about doing a podcast. <laughs> what, like yeah. what does it mean other than the words that <laughs> it says? Really, it's because you went, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> like something <laughs> had happened. <laughs> no, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> okay. Apologies. My apologies. Sincerest apologies. I also want to add in a, um honourable mention. Okay. Time Crisis 2. Never played? Never heard no. of? I've heard of them. I've heard of them. Not yeah. played them. Light gun game. Me and my brother played it for hours with our light guns. In the... Yeah. It's good fun. It's good fun. But that's I think we've got a Time Crisis game at Hollywood Bowl. There is. Time Crisis 5, yes. That's him, yeah. <clears throat> time Crisis 5. <clears throat> time Crisis 5. <laughs> I put in some klaxons there for you. Yes, please. <laughs> 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 That's not or even just put in that sound effect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just back it. <laughs> just all three of us doing our own klaxons on top of each other. What could possibly go? Meow. 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 Oh. Pokemon the movie. No, the first movie. Ooh. No, I was actually doing the other Pokemon movie that Mew appeared in. I just can't remember oh. which one it was. Uh, there is, that is one of the was modern ones. Is it the Lucario? Victini? No, Lucario. Yeah, the one with And the Lucario. mystery of Mew. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, the one that wears literally in the second <laughs> title. I don't know. Which one was it that had Lucario in it? Hmm. Pokemon it's the one with Mew in it, right? <laughs> Mew and the, and the mystery of the one film that's actually bloody canon. Oh. Yeah, it is the only one that's actually canon. Nanny. Because Ash uses the... Um, so many nannies today. ...ability and... My nanny lives in Western Supermare. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> Where do your nanny live? My nanny lives in New and... <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Which where does your nanny way. live? Yeah. Um... She's not dead, is she? They don't anymore. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where does your nanny live? Um, Westbury Cemetery? Wow. Uh, um, eh. Yeah, I mean, that's accurate, but... <laughs> eh. Wow. Hey, well, no, uh, no, no. I, I got gran- dark real quick. My, my, my granddad lives at uh, Westbury Cemetery, or crematorium, or yeah. what, the, the one up near there. Campford. Campford. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. Campford. This got very dark very quickly. <laughs> when doesn't it? <laughs> it's just us three talking. It's going to go wrong at some point. Oof. Must be Arnos Vale, I think. Oh, what, you're Arnos going yeah. Vale. Arnos Vale. <laughs> Arnos Vale. <laughs> Arnos. Ar- Arnos. Arnos Vale. To give it Arnos the Vale. Yeah. See. Si. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> wow. That's a name you don't want to mispronounce. <laughs> have we done that joke before? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have, but yeah. you know, the old ones are the only ones we know. What does yep. Schwarz mean? Doesn't Schwarz mean Schwarz, black? Black. Yeah. Black, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so his <laughs> last name is basically Black Black. <laughs> Well, no. Oh. <laughs> Get the book out. It's time again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more like black gangster phrase. Yes. Black racial slur. Yes. Mm. Black slur. Yeah. Blur. Anyway, on that bombshell. <laughs> are, is there, are we ending? Do unless we not have unless we've got any other biscuits. Biscuits. Um, well. I do have a few biscuits, but I'm going to save them up for when we have a shorter game of the year. Oh. oh really? They're not time critical. No, okay. they're not they don't well, have I'm, a best before date. I know I we know. had the idea of creating our own Bristol Wizarding School, but that we felt would be a full <clears throat> podcast in yes. its own sum. So that would be I'm out. sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're I'm we're s- planning to make a Bristol Wizarding School. <laughs> yes. Did you not get the letter? <laughs> we send it no, by owl. The owls were on strike. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs>